Hi, I'm Molly with The Clayful Co. And today we're going to talk about how to marble polymer clay. In this video, I'm going to use these four colors, but you can really use any amount of colors of polymer clay. There are many ways to get the marbled look, and today I'm going to walk you through two of the ways. You could just theoretically mix these all by hand as is, but I prefer to use this tissue blade included with our DIY kits to chop up each color of clay into little bits. By doing this, you'll more evenly disperse the color, and so you don't get giant blocks of one color as you mix. Once all of your colors are chopped, go ahead and mix them up. Once it's evenly mixed, you'll start smooshing all the pieces of clay together to form a log of clay. There really isn't a right or wrong way to do this part. Here I'm just going to cut this in half and set half of it aside to show you a different technique in a later portion of this video. Your completed clay log, if you will, is what we refer to as a cane in the polymer clay world. That just means that we're going to be cutting thin slices and then laying it flat to get the pattern we want. You'll see here in my slices, there are nice little blocks of color. If you want them more mixed, just mix it up a little more, then recut. The more you mix, the less defined your color will look. Once you're happy with how it looks as you cut it, you can start cutting little slices of clay. You want to make sure not to do it too thick or too thin as you'll be using this to roll out your clay slab. You also want to make sure that they're overlapping each other enough where there's not gaps in the middle. You can kind of smush the clay together to fill in those gaps. For the sake of this video, I'm not doing a very big slab, but you could do as many as you want and make this pretty large. Once you're done, you'll take your roller and roll it over top to connect them all together and make them all equal depth. The roller that I'm using has removable depth guides and that's available on our website, theclayfulco.com and it's also available in our DIY kits. Once you've finished rolling out your clay, you'll want to get out a clay cutter. I'm using ours from The Clayful Co. and then you'll select what portion of your slab you want to cut. Once you've finished cutting out your shapes, you can then just peel up the remaining clay. And the awesome thing about marbling is you can just mix it all back together and keep on marbling. At this point, you could also mix this all together to form one solid color if you prefer to do that too. I'm going to get out the second half of our original cane that we had and show you the other technique. Rather than taking slices from a cane, we're just going to mix this all together. And the more that you mix, the more subtle your marbling will be. And you will even see quite a difference from our initial marbling technique that we did to the second one. Like I mentioned earlier, you don't have to start by chopping up your clay, but I prefer it because I feel that the colors are more mixed together when we do it this way. Again, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. You'll just ball up your clay, make it into a little snake, give it a few folds, keep balling it back and forth. You can kind of watch the outside to get a good feel for how your marbling is taking effect. And once you get it to a point where you are liking what it's looking like, for instance, I'm really liking this little section of marbling here. So what I'm going to do is use my hands to smush the clay down a little bit so it's a little flattened. And then I'll take it and set it on my tile and roll it out even more. You can already see here how much more subtle this slab is than the first one we made. This gives you more of that airy marbled feel, whereas the first one we did is more color blocked and more vibrant colors. So it's really just personal preference which technique you'd like to use for your marbling. Again, use your cutters to cut out your shapes. I try to make sure that I purposely pick where my cutter is going to go on my slab so I get the best marbling within each shape. After cutting out all your shapes, again, pull up the remainder and you can either marble some more with it or mix it all together to form one color. Thank you so much for watching. Head over to theclayfulco.com for all of the tools that you see in this video or to purchase our DIY polymer clay kits.